I love the Gilmore School. That's love. Oh yeah, baby, it's the end of the school year, 2017, 2018 has wound down and we're here at the Gilmore School today for a little fun day. It's that simple, it's a fun day. But the best part of it all, Principal Mary Beth O'Brien is gonna get some pies thrown in her face and some jello thrown at her. That's all we know, limited information, lots of fun. Stay tuned, because we're gonna have some fun as well. Mary Beth, big day today for you. Why are you getting jello thrown at you? And why in the world would you want a pie in the face? Uh, well, it's not that I want to. It's just that after our first year here at the Gilmore, we are definitely making some strides. It was our first year. We copied a lot of our other neighboring Brockton Public Schools where we finally did that Fun Run Booster Thon Challenge. Right. And with the grounds out here, it was a great way to bring our entire school community together. And um, our children, you know, worked to get some funds raised um, in hopes to build a new playground here at the Gilmore for them to enjoy during the school day. And they raised $12,385, which wow. for a smaller school like ours, that is an amazing amount of money. Um, so the principal's challenge went through a couple of different versions and the kids voted on a jello bath and a pie in the face for me. Jello bath. Okay, the big question everybody wants to know, I have to put on the glasses for this one. What are you going to be wearing? Are you wearing what you're wearing right now as is? Oh, I can't tell you. You'll have to see. Ooh, surprise, surprise. Are you ready? Are you mentally prepared for this? I don't know. I was up at 2 o'clock in the morning all worried about this. I don't want my clothes to get stained from the jello. That's true. That's true. <laughs> so the big news now is what will Mary Beth wear? Have fun. Oh, there it goes. Oh. And this is uh, where the kids basically have made a circle where Mary Beth O'Brien will not be allowed to leave. The jello is its all set. We don't know where the pies are. But it's going to get a little messy, and we're going to enjoy it. They're handing out the jello. Mary Beth O'Brien has a satchel over her right shoulder. We're not sure which is in the satchel. Could be a change of clothes, could be an addition to offset the whipped cream and jello. I see hundreds of students that are literally, the anticipation is almost becoming too much. They're so excited, they're shaking, or is that just me? It might just be me, I don't know, but we're fired up. The, the buildup is incredible. We have excited adults. Who was that guy? We'll never know because we'll never ask. But here we go. Here we go. Something's happening. Hello, 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 There she is. She has a shower cap on. We have goggles. Oh, the tables have turned. Ladies and gentlemen, the tables have turned. The students are telling the principal to sit down. A year of buildup leading to this moment. And there it goes! 50 jello cups! 
Never in the history of Brockton, Massachusetts, have we seen so much Jero go fly through the air. Oh, the pump in the face! Here it comes! Oh! Nothing can help Principal Mary Beth O'Brien. Mary Beth, you're a great sport. What did it feel like? What did the jello feel like? What did the pie feel like? To step in the pool wasn't so bad. It actually felt therapeutic, like a, a nice pedicure. I think if somebody wants to start a spa, it would be onto something. Ah, I have to tell jello, you, a jello spa. These are flavors of jello that I don't necessarily even know what they might be when you mix all of that together, but I am so sticky. The Gilmore is one of many schools in our fair city that raises funds, that betters their community. And we were here today to watch all the action and the kids reaping the benefits. Mary Beth, congratulations again. Back to more activity in our fair city.